This will be a David Peterson free zone. I make that promise to you on a Tuesday here on the morning wager. Best bet coming up. Three Major League Baseball looks on Tuesday. And yes, none of them involve David Peterson and his frighteningly high expected ERA. Mark Zitto on location. No, he's not in a tank. He is in a car. And he is looking at a World Series rematch between the D-backs and Rangers. Mark, a little revenge from last year's Fall Classic or what today? Yeah, BP, we are back for day two of uh, cap racing cars here and colonels in cars, capping in cars. A lot of alliteration here. But nonetheless, uh, we're going to look to the D-backs here uh, at home. Look, Zach Callen, who starts for... Arizona typically has been a lot better at home in the past. I know his numbers aren't great this year, but his last four starts, he's holding opposing hitters to a 218 batting average and has allowed just one home run since August 1st. Now he gets 5.3 runs of support per start. You know how I feel about run support. It's a big thing. The Rangers bullpen is also bad. They have the seventh highest bullpen ERA. They're bottom five in whip and home runs allowed. The D-backs have lost the first two games of the series. Don't want to be in danger of getting swept. In the thick of wild card race, we know that the Rangers are on their way out. So D-backs here. It's a little juicy, a little pricey. We'll minimize our risk. But D-backs here on the money line tonight is my half of the double play. All right, smash that like button if you're with Mark and think Arizona will get some revenge for losing last year's World Series. My half of the double play, it's another first five run line play. We'll all be taking the half a run. Yesterday, if you tune into the show, we cashed with the Reds. In the first five plus the half run against the Braves. And guess what, gang? We are going against the Braves in the first five. Again, Nats, first five run line plus the half. 645 Eastern start here. It's a great spot to fade Atlanta. One, uh, they they played yesterday, okay? Washington did not. They were off. Washington's at home. So the schedule, very favorable to the Nationals. Uh, the Braves, their starting rotation continues to be great, okay? 28 consecutive games now where that's, where the Braves starters have allowed three runs or fewer, okay? But we're fading this, all right? Stay with me here because over the last nine games, this Atlanta lineup just has not been scoring runs. Three runs or less, seven of those last nine games. One of the two exceptions was a game that went 11 innings. It's been a disappointing year at the plate for Atlanta, quite frankly. So I like the matchup here for Washington starter Mackenzie Gore. He's turned in three consecutive quality starts. He's got a two ERA, a .89 whip in that stretch. And the second reason I like the Nats here today is Atlanta starter Reynaldo Lopez. He, when it comes to actual versus expected ERA, very David Peterson-like. I lied when I said I wasn't going to mention him again. But Reynaldo Lopez this year, do not be fooled by a 2.04 actual ERA. He has a 4.11 expected ERA. Also, unsustainable 87.3% strand rate. You can't keep uh, allowing that many ducks to stay on the pond, can you? That strand rate is actually number one in all of baseball. So Lopez has been very lucky this year, more lucky than good. Tons of negative regression in the profile. Two weeks ago, the Nats beat the Braves with Lopez on the mound, 5-1 to one as $1.70 underdogs. Here we're going to back the Nats again, just the first five, plus the half run on the run line. We want to leave the bullpens out of it. That is my half of the double play to go along with Mark and the D-backs. Let us know your favorite bets uh, for Tuesday. Our best bet coming up in just a moment. Just want to let you know today at wagertalk.com, $5 plays all over the place. Me, you can get my 4% best bet in MLB for just five bucks. That is $20 off the normal price. One again last night, cash for my clients. We had the over in Cubs Dodgers. Beat the line move. I got it at nine. It closed at 10. Everybody cashes in a 10 to four final. Now a 24 and 11 and one all sports run the last 17 days with all client selections. So head on over to wt.buzz slash BP for that $5 winner. All right. Our show best bet is going to be the twins over their team total of four and a half against the angels. I was on wager talk today, yesterday with Teddy and Prez said to bet the twins in the first five on the run line. That did not work out. They wound up losing six to two to the angels. This twins team is in a tailspin right now and they badly need a win because they're just three games up on three different teams. The Red Sox, Mariners and Tigers for that third and final wildcard spot in the American league. But I still do not have much regard for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, even with that win in last night's series opener. And I really don't have much regard for their starter, Griffin Canning on Tuesday. Canning, 
on the road this season. How's he done? Not good. 0-9 with a 5.24 ERA. We don't want to leave the Angels' bullpen out of it either. I think the Twins could put up some runs against that group. Pablo Lopez, I know that this really isn't in the equation, taking a team total, but I will let you know, Pablo Lopez, who's starting for Minnesota, he's been great. I think because of that, the Twins hitters can be coming to this game a little more relaxed. Mark and I like the Twins to put up some runs, break out of that slump at the plate. So it's Twins team total over four and a half is our show best bet. Not only can you get plays for $5 tonight at wagertalk.com, but another great deal for just $199, you can get the next 30 days of NFL and college football. That's less than $50 a week. Guys, I'm on a 25 and 11 college football run going back to last season. 67% start this season. Six and three. Had Northern Illinois over Notre Dame on Saturday. That feels good. It was a winning week one in the NFL as well. So one more time, wt.buzz slash bp, wt.buzz slash mz for Mark. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.